Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a network shared folder. So basically what this is, is it's a folder on another computer on the network, and then you set it up so that you can access that um, folder on your own computer. So I've currently got um, a separate computer open up on TeamViewer so that I don't have to keep switching between views of the two for you guys. So I've got it open on TeamViewer here, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a folder and then configure it so that... I can um, read and write contents onto it from this computer as well as from other computers in the network so this computer here that I'm currently recording on. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check a couple different options in our network and sharing center. So we're going to open that and then we're going to hit change advanced sharing settings. Now we're going to want to make sure that a few things are turned on here. So home will work. So when you connect to a network it's going to ask you whether you want it to be a public network or home will work. Most likely, 99% of the time, you're going to have set it to home or work because it's your home network. Um, if not, then you would want to select public. Although, with public, you generally don't want to do this because other users, because it's a public network, other users that have um, malicious intent or want to steal, not steal things, but access your data without you knowing, um, it's a lot easier for them to do that when it's a public network and you're doing these things. So try to avoid doing this on a public network public network but if it's in your home network or if a network that you trust and um, then we can go right ahead so you're going to want to make sure that turn on network discovery is enabled turn on file and printer sharing is enabled turn on sharing so anyone with access can read and write files in the public folders we want that to be um, enabled and then we also want um, that doesn't matter we're going to want to turn off password protected share sharing um, otherwise we're going to be needing to put in a password and username every time we want to access that shared folder. Again, if you're on a public network, this is an option that you could enable to eliminate um, the possibility of someone else accessing your information without you want wanting them to. Um, but yeah, again, this is up to you. So once you've enabled and disabled those certain things, you're going to want to hit save and that should be all good to go. Now what you can do is you want to navigate to the directory where you want to create the folder um, or this network shared folder. So I'm just going to do one here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it test. Now once we've created our folder, we're going to right click on it, then hit properties. Now this process will be the exact same in Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. Um, so you won't have to worry about anything being different like that. It's still the same basic um, options and things to configure. So once you've done that, it's going to open up this properties box and we're going to hit sharing. Now sharing, we're going to hit share and we're going to um, hit that share one there, the share button. And we're going to come up with a thing that has um, basically people that you want to share this with. So we're going to hit the down arrow and we're going to click everyone. Once you've done that, we're going to click add. And then here we're going to select either read or read and write or remove. Now if you want other devices to only be able to read the things in this folder, so basically view them or if it's a video open it, then leave it at read. But if you want to be able to add things to this network shared folder from other computers on the network, then you're going to want to do read slash write so that they can write to that folder. So now it's going to give us this network drive, um, not URL but a link I guess. Um, we're not going to use this yet because we're not actually finished, so we can disregard that. And then we're going to hit, go down another tab and hit advanced sharing. Now over here we're going to hit share this folder, and then we can name the share, we can limit the number of simultaneous users. So in my case, what I've done in the past is I've only used it to connect my server computer with my desktop computer, um, because I'll basically only be accessing those files from one computer. So if you limit it to two simultaneous users, that means that this computer will be able to access it and this computer will be able to access it. Of course, you can change this depending on how many users, etc. you want. Comments, you can just leave that. You don't have to click Add or Remove. And then another important thing, we want to hit Permissions. Again, this is choosing um, what users can do in this folder. So again, we have Read, which is enabled by default. There's also change, which is writing, so deleting files from this folder or copying files to this folder or renaming things, and then full control, which will just enable them all. So we're going to hit full control. Again, this depends on what you, how you're wanting to set it up yourself. So once we've done that, we're going to hit apply, and then OK, then apply, then OK, then close. So now we're going to go out and right-click on this again, and we're going to hit sharing. Now we see this network path here. Um, 
double backslash server dash pc backslash test. So that's the ser that's the path for this network um, folder that we're going to want to use now to add this network um, folder onto my desktop or onto the other computer that you want to access it from. So if you go into this PC or my computer, then up the top here you can click add a network location or just right click add a network location. We're going to hit next and next in the first two boxes. And now if we remember that address, didn't mean to press enter, we're going to type in that address. So sometimes it's going to bring, it's going to register automatically that we've actually got it there. Um, it's picking up that network folder. Sometimes it may not, so you may have to just type the whole thing in. So once we've got that, we're going to hit next. Now it's giving us, it's asking us what we want to name this. So again, this doesn't really make a difference. I'll just name it test. Next, and then open this network location when I finish. So now this has opened, has added this network location test. Um, and as we can see, it's got that file path there um, linking it back to the server PC. So now to test that everything's working, what we're going to do is we're going to just create a little text document um, like that. So that's showing that we can write to this folder. And as we can see, if we open up this folder, it's synchronized there. So now if we go back here, delete it, didn't have any issues with that, go back here, it's gone. So if you're having problems and it's saying that you don't have permission to do this or um, that kind of thing, go back and just check um, all your permissions. Make sure that you've allowed everyone um, to read slash write depending on what you're wanting to do and check it check the double check the, all the permissions and everything like that um, so yeah that's about it um, basically this network folder will um, the size of it in terms of how much you can store in it um, will be however big um, the drivers that it's stored on so currently it's stored on desktop so that's on my C drive um, so that's got another 100 gigs free so I could fill this up with 100 gigabytes and be able to access that all um, from this computer. And now you just repeat this process over and over again on any of the other computers um, that you're wanting to access this network folder on. Now one thing you may want to be concerned about is um, if someone knows a little bit about computers and goes into the network, um, not app, but the, I guess, program on Windows 10 or Windows 7 um, and look around, they will be able to find this test folder without having to type in um, this this not URL but this basically this file path um, to that network folder. Again, though, you wouldn't want to be doing this on a public network where you don't trust the other people. Rather, only be using this for your home network um, or trusted computers, that kind of thing. Um, basically, for accessing your data and your information um, from all the other computers on your network. And there are actually apps that you can get on Android and I believe iOS as well that allow you to put in that network path and access those files from your device. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.